Assalamu alaikum and hey everyone. This is AWP Exotica with yet another video for you guys. <clears throat> so this time it's going to be a tutorial about Photoshop. Have you guys ever wondered how to get uh, your logo, perhaps text, and place it uh, on a texture or surface and uh, it should look blended in some sort of way. So today uh, this tutorial is all about that. Hope you guys like it. Watch till the end. There's a lot to learn. Let's take you straight into Photoshop. So here we are inside Photoshop. The first thing uh, to do is download the image uh, that you want to work on, <clears throat> the image on which you want your uh, texture logo uh, to be pasted. So I have already done that. Uh, it's right here. I'm going to be using this image uh, to get the logo uh, on it. So let's first just simply import this image inside Photoshop. I'm gonna <clears throat> open this image, which is saved on my desktop, just open it up. So, <clears throat> once the image is open inside Photoshop, you need to unlock uh, the layer itself. Uh, just click here on this little lock thingy over here. That unlocks it. Now, what we have to do is we need to convert this layer uh, into grayscale. For that, we need to go to image, mode, grayscale. Uh, press this card. This is going to change it or convert it into a grayscale image. Uh, why I have done this? Because Photoshop itself needs to use uh, this grayscale image as a reference point for the displacement which we are going to make uh, through the logo or on the logo. <clears throat> so one more thing that we need to do over here, it, you can see there's a lot of grain uh, inside this image. So we need to uh, do away with the grain. <clears throat> so for that, what do we need to do? Add blur, of course. So go to filter, select the uh, select the layer, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Now uh, you can play with the values <coughs> uh, from zero to any value you like. Just don't go uh, beyond a value in which these curves of the image get uh, disturbed or are not visible. So uh, for me, I guess value of six is gonna work. Press okay. Now this image is ready as a displacement layer for the logo. Uh, we need to save it, go to file, save as, and go to the place where you want to save it. I'm gonna go in the project folder already available, rename it as texture displacement, I guess. If it works for you, hit save. Press okay and close this image. Now what we are going to do is we're going to open the actual image uh, which was downloaded. I'm going to open that up. <clears throat> now this, on this image, I have to place my logo. So I'm going to open my logo from here. Just uh, go to the project folder. This is the logo that I'm going to use. This is my own logo. I'm just going to drag it inside Photoshop and voila. <clears throat> here is the logo. So I need to select this. To select the logo, I'm going to press Control A, Control or Command A on a Mac, uh, Control or Command C to copy it. Go to the main image, press Control or Command V to paste it. Now you can resize it uh, the way you want, whichever whichever size suits you. I think this is pretty much good for me. Hit Enter, and there you have it. So now I'm going to use the displacement layer to click create that blended effect uh, for this logo over here. For that, I'm going to select the layer, go to filter, I'm going to go to distort and then displace. <clears throat> now over here, there is a horizontal scale and a vertical scale. On the horizontal scale, I'm going to go with a value of 15 for now and 15 on the vertical scale. Make sure stretch to fit is checked. Repeat edge pixels is also checked. Hit OK. Now it's going to ask you uh, to you. It's going to ask which displacement file to use. Uh, since I've already saved this displacement file, I'm going to use it. Hit open, and there you have it. Here you can see the logo has been displaced according to the text layer, but it still seems a little off. It still seems unrealistic. Now to get that realistic look, 
what we need to do is we need to select the logo layer right click on it go to blending options use the underlying slider the lighter portion of the slider and drag it slightly towards the left hit alt this is going to split the sliders click the slider between and now start dragging it for a smoother transition there you go isn't it just wonderful isn't it just looking so awesome hit ok or enter and there you have it there you go this is the logo which has been placed inside or on top of a texture layer and has been blended as we wanted well, there you have it well there it was hope you guys uh, like the tutorial of uh, this small tutorial of photoshop which i made for you uh, there are a lot of videos that are going to come uh, along on this channel. There are going to be tutorials, there are going to be blogs, there's going to be tips about filmmaking. It's going to be about a lot. Uh, so keep watching. Do leave a like. Hit that subscribe button because it's really going to encourage my channel over here. Uh, this is AWP Exotica signing off for now. See you in another video.